out here on the uh, back deck of the house. And there is Buddy. There's the big boy. 115 pound, four year old Rotterman. Half Rottweiler, half Doberman. So yeah, there he is. Good, good dog breed. And I highly recommend this dog breed if you can discipline them, which is very important. Anyway, that being said, uh, back here on the deck and we're in central Texas, close to Waco. And uh, man, folks, I've seen, I've seen many illegals, even in my podunk little community. Now, I live in a community that is out in the country. And you can hear the highway right there, but there's only one highway close to us. We are out in the country. We are not in a city. It's a corporation, which means a community that belongs to a city. And that city is Clifton. But folks, I've seen these illegals everywhere don't speak a word of English and they speak, uh, you know, a South American dialect like Port Portuguese or something like that. And uh, seen them with big families and everything else the past few weeks. And come to find out today, they are deliberately the powers that be, the evil satanic people. They're in charge of this government and the world. They are actually sending the most illegals to what states? Guess what? To Texas and Florida, two of the most conservative states in the Union, in the United States, deliberately. So... They're sending all these illegals. Yeah, we got a little bit of disturbance here. It's okay. Yeah. Got some stray dogs out. They get out all the time. By the way, people are dumping their dogs everywhere. And Buddy don't like that. He's guarding the place. Don't want these stray dogs around. Anyway. But they are literally dumping millions, millions of illegals in Texas and Florida. Why? Because they're two of the most conservative states in the United States. And these are the states that the satanic powers that be will have the most problem with. Does that make sense? Yes. It does to me because it's intentional. It's deliberate. It's deliberate. And these people want to replace our population with foreigners. With foreigners. They want to replace our population with people that don't even speak English, don't share our customs, are not Christians, they're not conservative, and they could give a damn less about us, to be honest. So, what else is going on? It's happening every day. 10,000 per day. And that's what they say in the news. Yeah, it's a lot more than that per day. If you look at the east and west coast of the United States, not just the southern border, but also the border with Canada. Do, do your homework and your research because people from all over the damn country are letting you know this is going on everywhere, all borders. There is no borders now. Plus, they're flying them in. Flights. Sponsored by who? The U.S. government. 
these satanic people are absolutely intent on your your and I destruction. They fly them in every at night, of course. Night flights. Nobody's there to witness. Private airfields. You know, and so on. I mean, any evil you can think of, they're doing it right now. Not only that, last month, I'm sorry about all the noise, but it's kind of entertaining to watch Buddy. He's a good guard dog. Nothing gets by him. He smells everything, hears everything, and sees everything. Very good dog breed. But anyway, last month, 24,000 Chinese military-aged men got past the border. And that's just the basic, you know, what's going around on social media. Probably a lot more. They're, they're here, the Chinese army. And, and myself and Chad Carr have done an interview about this before. And we're going to soon again, God willing. But the incentives for the illegals, they promise you. You know, all kinds of stuff. Free lodging. They'll put you up in a five-star motel. Free, you know, cell phone. If you come across. Free flights. And flee, free bless, uh, busing to your favorite destination. You know, whatever city you pick, Philadelphia, New York, you know, Chicago, you know, Seattle, whatever place you want to go, just pick it. It's on your menu as an illegal and a foreign invader. You can have all this for free. Oh, by the way, they also now have squatters rights. In many, many states and cities, if you leave your home, even for a vacation, and they come into your empty house while you're gone, and they do what? They just set up residence there as squatters. It's not their house, not their property, but your local government, your state government, your city government gives them rights. You can't kick them out. This is so absurd. I mean, it's sick and evil to the core. And do you know who, who sponsors all this stuff? Who funds it? The United States. The United States. The federal government, all your politicians... Every single one of them, the Federal Reserve and the Satanists, the evil Illuminati, the Freemasons, all these organizations that are entrenched in this evil plot for you and I are funding it. The U.S. does this how? They give incentives to the illegals all across the damn world. Not just Central and South America, because there's millions come from there, but also overseas. You know, Haiti, Jamaica. Um, let's talk about Islamic countries that are very hostile to the United States. And terrorists. They're already here. So, through non government organizations that are created by the United Nations, now listen closely the United Nations is funded by the United States. So, they're going through a middleman. They're going roundabout 
to fund all these non-government organizations, which are all through Central and South America, all the way up to the U.S. border. They're funded, and they do advertisements. They send out emails and brochures and websites. Come on in the United States. It's all free. It's all free. You got nothing to worry about. Tell your families and your friends to come on over and let's have a big cluster party at the expense of the American people. And every word I've told you is the truth, folks. Every word I've told you. You can verify that if you do your due diligence, just like Buddy is guarding the yard from all these critters around. Do your due diligence and research and look at what's happening in your backyard because it is horrific. May Yahweh bless all of you.